हेलो क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज कोकोआ प्रोसेसिंग एज वी नो दैट चॉकलेट इज अ प्रोडक्ट मेड फ्रॉम कोकोआ सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर दिस इज द कोकोआ नट एंड दीज आर द कोकोआ सीड्स इन साइड द नट्स नाउ वी कैन सी the picture of cocoa plant this is the picture of cocoa tree and you can see the cocoa nuts having cocoa seeds numerous cocoa seeds inside now originally cocoa originated in central america over 5000 years ago its popularity and production has spread globally and first we look at the nations that lead the world in the cocoa production because by 2016 the global chocolate market will be was worth 98.3 billion so chocolate is the major product made from cocoa and uh, it is a delicacy and it is evaluated much like wine because it is the industry which is loved by all group of ages chocolate is made from cocoa beans which grow on cocoa trees historians believe that chocolate consumption originated in the pre-columbian societies of central america at least 5 million years ago and top 10 countries top 10 countries cocoa producing countries come from warm wet climate so warm wet climate is a necessity to grow the cocoa tree so because of the specific characteristic weather and climate need four of the ta- top five nations cocoa producing nations found in africa so now we'll see the list this first is cote d'ivoire is the west african country which produces 30% of the world's cocoa production so basically this country only produces cocoa and after that ghana then indonesia then nigeria then cameroon then after that brazil then ecuador then mexico then peru then dominic republic then after that colombia then papua new guinea then venezuela 13th number and our india is on 18th number uh, demand in india is very high but indian demand is completed by the import most of the indian demand is completed by the import of cocoa now the processing part how cocoa is processed processed chocolate production starts with the harvesting cocoa in a forest cocoa comes from tropical evergreen cocoa trees such as 
Theobroma cocoa. This is the botanical name Theobroma cocoa and it is the highest species that is grown for the chocolate production. It is grown in the wet lowland tropics of Central and South America, West Africa and Southeast Asia. Cocoa needs to be harvested manually in the forest. The seed pods of cocoa will first be collected. The beans will be selected and placed in piles. These cocoa beans will then be ready to be shipped to the manufacturer for mass production. As you can see in the picture because each and every cocoa pod ripens at different times so the manual harvesting is must and these are the farmers and laborers who are harvesting the cocoa by the hook by the help of a hook now first is first step is plucking and opening the pods cocoa beans grow in pods inside the pods the numerous number of um, cocoa beans grow inside the pods that sprout off of the trunk and branches of cocoa tree the pods are about the size of a football so pods are very big the pods start are start out green and turn orange when they are ripe when pods are ripe harvested harvesters travel through the cocoa orchards with matchets and hack of the pods gently of the trees now machines could damage the tree or the cluster of flowers or pods that grow from the trunk because so workers must be must harvest the pods by hand using short hooked blades mounted on the long poles to reach the highest fruit after cocoa pods are collected into baskets the pods are taken into processing house here they are split open and cocoa beans are removed pods can contain upwards of 50 cocoa beans each fresh cocoa beans are not brown at all they do not taste at all like the sweet chocolate they will eventually produce rather they are uh, they have the bitter and flowery flavor then uh, what brings the flavor of chocolate in those beans the fermentation this is the key the fermentation of cocoa seed develop the specific flavor of chocolate and color also the brown color now the beans undergo the fermentation process they are either placed in large shallow heated trays or covered with large banana leaves as you can see the fermentation all mucilaginous seeds are removed from the pods and these are fermenting in the sun these are simply heated by the sun workers come along periodically and stir them up so that all of the beans come out equally fermented during log during fermentation is when the beans turn brown this process may take five or eight days now third step that is 
drying now you can see the desirable brown color now drying of the seed after fermentation cocoa seeds must be dried before they can be scooped into sacks and shipped to chocolate chocolate manufacturers farmers simply spread the fermented seeds on trays and leave them in the sun to dry the drying process usually takes about a week and results in seed that are about half of the original weight so the moisture is evaporated now manufacturing chocolate once cocoa bean beans have reached the machinery of chocolate factories they are ready to be refined into chocolate generally manufacturing process differs slightly due to the different species of cocoa tree but most factories use similar machines to break down cocoa beans into cocoa butter and chocolate firstly fermented now you can understand actually this by seeing the flow diagram so first we'll see the flow diagram uh uh so we have covered the cocoa pods then split of cocoa pods and extract seeds pod husk are wastage then wet cocoa seeds are there surrounded by pulp fermentation in sun with the help of banana leaf covering and mixing it time to time take a week for fermentation then drying is done by sweating in sun dried or fire drying is done sweating means evaporation of water then sorting and bagging sorting up to the standard like irregular misshaped two smalls are removed and sorted out and the bagging is done to hit the chocolate factory now dried cocoa beans brown colored cocoa beans are there then cleaning roasting is done then after roasting the kibble and winnow now when roasting is done the outer covering of the cocoa beans is cracked so whatever outer covering is there it is removed by winnowing we know winnowing word that is the screening with the help of the pressure of air so this is called winnowing through winnowing kibble the rest of the part of the seed without outer covering is known as kibble now this kibble is processed through size reduction so it is reduced into size, uh, size by impacting so through impacting the size is size reduction is done and kibble is converted into nibs so smaller parts of kibble uh, is known as nibs now nibs are grinded these roasted nibs are grinded and cocoa mass or liquor so this uh, these nibs after grinding converts into a liquor so this liquor is pressed and filtered so two things we will get the cocoa cake and the cocoa butter butter cocoa butter is the fat part of the cocoa seeds or beans now this cocoa cake is milled and sieved and it becomes the cocoa powder now 
this cocoa mass the liquor plus sweetener mix needed and becomes a paste the liquor in addition with sweetener mixing and kneading is done and it develops a paste which is refined and thus the chocolate or cocoa flakes cocoa flakes are there now after getting the cocoa flakes from cocoa mass the cocoa butter is added with vanilla and or emulsifier it is an optional means flavor and emulsifier and these cocoa flakes cocoa butter all are gone to the process that is called conching or conching conching is done by a surface scraping machine which uses frictional heat to smoothen the texture as well as heat facilitates the volatiles to release so the specific flavor is also there by the help of frictional heat so the development of texture smooth texture as well as the taste and flavor the characteristic taste and flavor the release of volatile compound is done by conching and as a result we get the dark chocolate and this is the intermediary or the third party product like skim milk powder which is used for milk chocolate industry or other food industry these dark chocolate slabs are sale to the product making industry so i think it is clear now we can go through the detailing of the process so now firstly fermented and dried cocoa beans as we have seen in the flow chart will be refined to a roasted nib we know the nib that the small part of the kibble the kibble is uh, broken or the size is reduced by the impact and the it is converted into nib and by winnowing and roasting it is processed then they will be heated and melt into chocolate liquor lastly manufacturers blend chocolate liquor with sugar and milk to add flavor after the blending process the liquid chocolate will be stored or delivered to the molding factory in tanks so direct making of chocolate also can be done and making of dark chocolate and then selling the ch dark chocolate which has to be converted into products can be done now roasting and winnowing process the first thing that chocolate manufacturer do with cocoa beans is roast them this develops the color and flavor of the beans into what our modern palates expect palate is the mouth palate which senses the taste and flavor expect from fine chocolate the outer shell of the beans is removed and the inner cocoa bean meat is broken into small pieces so this cocoa bean meat is known as kibble and outer covering is the is removed by winnowing and sp small pieces are called cocoa nibs now roasting process makes the shell of the cocoa brittle 
and cocoa nibs pass through a series of sieves which strain and sort the nibs according to the size in a process called winnowing so it is done by sieving plus the air pressure now grinding of the cocoa nibs grinding is the process by which cocoa nibs are ground into cocoa liquor or mass which is uh, which is also known as unsweetened chocolate or cocoa mass the grinding process generates heat and dry granular consistency of the cocoa nib is then turned into liquid as the high amount of fat contained in the nib melts the cocoa liquor is mixed with cocoa butter and sugar in case of milk chocolate fresh sweetened condensed or roller dry low heat powdered whole milk is added depending on the individual manufacturer's formula and manufacturing method so we are seeing that directly the sugar can be processed or after making dark chocolate it can be processed now the blending cocoa liquor and molding chocolate after the mixing process the blend is further refined to bring the particle size of the added milk and sugar down to the desired fineness the cocoa powder or mass is blended back with the butter and liquor in varying quantities to make different types of chocolate so it is dependent on the manufacturer's formula whatever stage he likes to add whether the nib whether the mass whether the butter or whether the liquor anything then milk chocolate contents then white chocolate contents are there now now the this is the grinding process making chocolate or cocoa mass so then cocoa liquor same now so this this is the process to make chocolate from cocoa i think it is clear you can make handwritten notes based on it if you have any query you can ask me or you can post it into the comment box